Hey everyone, so I have another edition in my 90s nostalgia series. Now I say that, I'm talking about Mr. Ben, which first aired in 1971. And there was only ever 13 episodes, I believe. 12 or 13 episodes made. So, you know, it kind of ended in, 19, in the 70s as well. But it's gorgeous, it still runs, it's even on today. And it is such a, a classic program that I thought I'm going to have to talk about it. Now, for those of you who haven't seen it, um, it's about Mr. Ben who wears a little suit and he's got a little black top hat he's an animated character of course and he goes into this this fancy dress shop when he's there he, he gets a fancy dress outfit he goes into the changing rooms he tries it on but then the fancy dress changing room turns into a magical place and the door when he comes out the other door he's in the the time period or the right environment for his costume so if he was in a cowboy costume he'd probably be in texas or if he was in a, a firefighter's costume he'd be you know, he'd be preparing himself to battle a big blaze. Or, you know, something which fits him with his costume. Which I think is really, really creative. Because then you have the aspect of, ooh, which, which, which costume's he going to go for now? What's going to happen? So at the start of each new episode, the kids watching it wouldn't really know what to expect. Because each story brings a different adventure. And that aspect I really, really like. It also gives us an insight into children's imaginations. And even some adults. Because if you put on a fancy dress outfit as a kid you immediately are transported to that environment. You know, if you put on a fairy costume, you're going to be whizzing around the house trying to look for teeth. It's just how kids' minds work, and I think it's really beautiful. And I think it's great that they've captured that aspect of it as well, and it gives children something to relate to. It allows them to be a bit more creative as well, and I really like that. It's, it's narrated by Ray Brooks, who played... Yeah! <laughs> Him and EastEnders, my goodness, why can't I remember his name? Um, Pauline's bit of stuff. I'm talking like four or five years ago or something. Um, anyway, it's narrated by him, which I didn't know, so I thought that was really kind of fantastic. The the owner of the fancy dress shop wears a fez, which being a big Doctor Who fan for me, I thought was pretty cool. All he needs now is a little bow tie. But it is a really great, um, a great program. The only thing is, they have like sort of really, basically one-dimensional drawings, which is a weird concept. But... They do the drawing quality, the animation quality isn't that great. Now I know that this was the 70s, but I've seen better animated programs. Now maybe it was meant to be really quite direly done, but I could just be really fu be, be be really I could just be being really fussy. But I just thought that the quality of the actual animation wasn't that good compared to other programs I've seen from the same time. But I mean it's not a massive problem. It gives it that 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 antique feel if you like. But yeah, it is a really good program. It's really, really fun and just really colourful and just really nice to watch. It's not very long. It's not hectic. It's not scary. It's not problematic. There's not a lot going on. You don't have to think much. It's just a nice little programme for children to involve themselves in. If you've not seen it, YouTube it. There are loads of clips on YouTube. You'll get to watch loads of them. Maybe all of them. I haven't checked. They might all be there. But please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this. If you have any requests for any more 90s nostalgia shows, let me know. That does include shows from the 70s and the 80s, which were carried across into the 90s. Um, so if you think, oh, it was made in the 80s, I can't request it. Don't worry, just if any show, just request it. I will try and get on to doing them as much as I can. But please feel free to leave comments on this one. And that's it for videos now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.